In this video, we're going to create a flow that parses HTML information from a website back to Node-RED. In this function, we're going to create a counter using the context to count how many times the word compose is in this article in the paragraph tags. To begin, we're going to pull out an inject node, two debug nodes, a HTTP request node, a HTML node, and a function node. In the HTTP request node, we're going to set the method equal to get because we're trying to retrieve information from the site. In the URL section, we're going to take the URL here um, and copy it back into the, the text box. But this, this article is about one of our customers, Interloop, and how they use our product to compose. So we're going to paste it into the text box. Make sure that you're returning a UTF-8 string. And I'm going to name it accessing the site. In the HTML node, the selector part is going to select and parse the information from the HTML tag that you want. So in our case, we're going to put in the P tag. Make sure the output is the same here, uh, which is the HTML content of the elements as a single message containing an array. And the array part is important for the, fu for the function node. In the function node, we're going to name it iterating through p tags. And if there's no context.count already existing, then we're going to create the count. Outside the if statement, we're going to start a for loop. And if the message that payload at the current iteration includes the word compose, then we're going to increment the context.count. Outside here, we're going to set the message.payload equal to the count, so we can easily see it with the debug node. And since we return the HTML context into an array in the payload, this gives us the ability to iterate through the text here. Now we're done and we're gonna, we're gonna wire them all together. So we're gonna wire the inject to the HTTP request, accessing the site to the HTML node, and we're gonna set this one, wire it to the debug node so we can see the content in the P tags, and also send it to the function that we just created, and the function to the debug so we can see how many times the word compose is in the article. So now we're ready to deploy and inject. So the result is that we see the HTML context of the paragraph tag of the site and the count of how many times Compose is mentioned. To modify this code to parse other information, change the URL in the HTTP request node and in the HTML node, select whatever HTML tag that you want information from. Happy data scrubbing.